What's up, everybody? I have a lot to talk about today. First off, do you, do you like my pet back there? That That's my buddy. His name is Prince. So, as you know, um, I went out on November 10th and I finally got my um, endoscopy done. And yeah, so it's time for another story time. So the weird thing started off um, like as soon as I got back there. So they went to go draw my blood as they do um, and basically put my IV in. Now for some reason, they always seem to have problems finding my veins. So um, the guy comes in, he's like, hey, I'm about to stab you a little bit. Like now, get yeah, stab you and take your blood. And I'm like, okay, cool. I guess. So he stabs me, he find, he stabs me in the arm and he's like, hmm, I, I can't find a vein. I was like, I thought your job was built for this. So then he goes to my hand. He somehow messed up getting blood from an artery, which I, you know, I don't know. So he finally got it done in like the right hand so I was like, okay, everything's cool. Interesting fact about any kind of procedure you get that if you don't know, it's kind of creepy, is the fact that they'll tell you multiple times, hey, do you like have like a will or live in the will just in case we fuck up so bad that you know, die, dead, forever. So I signed all these papers that I probably should have read more and about the procedure and everything because at this point I was just like, I'm ready to get it done. I'm ready to find out what's happening to me. Let's get it done. So they wheel me uh, in the bed um, to the um, to the other area for my procedure. What I did feel bad about at first is they had like this old skinny small Indian lady like dragging my big ass in a bed and like the bed kept hitting on the side of corners and stuff and I just felt embarrassed like hey I can walk if 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 you need it I can just get up and um, I hell I can take the bed but then eventually somebody another guy came and that was all good so it's still kind of awkward every time I have to be taken in a bed because it's like I don't know me being fat it almost gives me like ideas of what will happen if I'm on 600 pound life like Jesus Christ do you, do you see my fish over there he looks Rest in peace. Everybody say rest in peace to Mr. Royal, the magic card. So here is the awkward part. So um, of course I have to put on the, the robe and of course the robe is not big enough. So my whole ass was out. Now they let you now start to keep on your um, underwear, but guess what, TMI, you usually don't wear any, so that didn't do anything. So he's like, oh, turn to your side. And I was like, why do I have to turn to my side? And I had to turn to my side, I'm trying to cover up my whole bare ass with, uh, with some blankets and everything, so that was kinda awkward. And then not only that, while I'm doing that, it was like, oh, we need you to put this in your mouth so you open it up. And the best way I can explain what it is, is, is a ball gag. Like it, like it keeps your mouth, it looks like one of those <sighs> trainers, if you know what I'm talking about. Submissive trainers. Um, I'm gonna put some pictures of what I made up there. Um, not my thing. Not into that at all. Not even a little bit. No. It's a no for me, sir. And not only that, um, Right after that, that's when they put out the the knockout gas. So now I'm turned to my side, bare ass out, pretty much, slightly covered, ball gag in my mouth, and I just got put to sleep. So pretty much, I got drugged with a ball gag in my mouth, and I don't, 
I cannot account for the uh, hour that I was out. Anyway, so can we talk about anesthetics a, a, a little bit and how great they are? How how the hell? There, this is something extremely scary. There's something that they can literally just inject you in a second and you get knocked out immediately. Like I was out so quick and not only was I out so quick, I didn't even like, I didn't even see, like not see, but it didn't even seem like I was actually out. It felt like I blinked and I was back. What kind of craziness is that? Anyway, so the doctor comes and they, and she says that she, uh, they did the endo endoscopy. They took some samples to see what was going on. And also they sent me pictures. The pictures that I'm posting of my insides are gonna be kind of raggedy. That's because they didn't give me digital pictures literally on like a piece of paper. And for some reason, my super expensive camera phone seems to can't take pictures of pictures worth shit. Yeah. But, once again, I try to ask her, I'm like, all right, what's the deal? How are we gonna come across this? What are we gonna do? They say that my stomach looks perfectly fine. There's no problems whatsoever. So they took some samples to see what comes back. Um, so that blew my day. And just today, since I was waiting for in order to make this recording, I got a message back saying that there is no bacterial infection However, they do see inflammation. And once again, when I ask them, okay, what could have caused this inflammation? I get the same answer that I've gotten since the beginning of time. If you know, say it with me. Fuck if I know. So, um... At this point, they did give me some kind of medication for something. Wait a minute, I'm about to look up what the medication is called. I'm gonna put it over here somewhere because I don't feel like looking at my phone while I'm recording this. Um, but apparently that is for um, put inflammation for the stomach or something. Matter of fact, I might put the definition of exactly what it is on there. Um, but definitely not what I was looking for when it came to an answer. So the question is, what are we gonna do from here? Well, since my doctors don't seem to be any help in the foreseeable future, and also I'm going to overhaul my entire um, doctor group or whatever you call it, my entire, what is it? My, all of my doctors, because they have not helped me at all through any of this. Um, and it's irritating, especially when I'm actually trying to get my shit together. So I'm definitely going to be looking into different doctors, but before then, or in the meantime, the best thing that I'm going to do is get back on my keto diet. Um, but then also have a, a higher emphasis on, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Fiber or, uh, fiber and gut bacteria, so eating a lot of fermented foods, um, and it also just cutting out everything artificial out of my diet. I got a very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I got very addicted to like sugar-free energy drinks and stuff, and honestly, I'm telling y'all now, um, that is not good at all. I honestly have a theory that once I started to partake in a very particular um, drink is when things started to go downhill. And then also a very particular thing that I did that really fucked me up. And I'm going to, I'm just going to flat out talk about it in the video, exactly what I'm talking about, um, because for one, I was abusing, let, let's be honest. I was abusing the the product at hand that rhymes with Lang literally links um, to the point where I decided to only just drink them straight for a week, and that's when I started to feel really pretty really bad. So some of this is definitely on me, but I want to talk about that and um, 
there's a lot of things we're going to talk about. Um, also, in the future, my future videos, I will be making health essays. Now, I am not a doctor, nor am I the smartest person in the world, but I hope that the things that I do say in my videos are as factual as I found possible. And not only that, is I will be um, also doing self-experimentations with the things that I say. So it won't be a thing where I'm just regurgitating information, um, but I actually will be actually doing some of the things. So I'm actually really excited about doing some of those. I am talking very vague. Anyway, so yeah, that's about it. So it is confirmed that I have some kind of inflammation. It is also confirmed that nobody knows what the hell is going on with me. Um, so I'm going to continue as, I, as I've been going. Um, and also, um, I'm going to start charting everything that I do and eat on a daily basis. Um, so how this will go is I will probably post daily on my Instagram and I will do a super cut for YouTube for when it just comes to my food. Um, I literally become the people I hate, the people that um, post their food on YouTube, like people care. Um, I don't know. So I wanna do more research and try to figure out what's going on with me. But at this point in time, this is, what's happening so far. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to start scripting this stuff because it's literally off the top of my head every time. And maybe that's not the best thing because I do a lot of ad-libbing and mmm and ahs and stuff. Even the one, I've done a lot more than what I cut out. I pretty much sound dumb. If I cut, cut everything in, it's, this will probably last twice as long. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed about this whole situation, but just because I'm disappointed or just because I do not have answers does not mean that I'm going to give up trying to improve myself. That's the whole point. You got to keep trying to improve yourself. Like, what's the point in living if you're not going to be your best? All right, so it's been fun. I finally did it. I need to put more whatever but yeah so let's do this see y'all